Hey YouTube, James here with another speed test for you. And last year we had the Moto G4 Plus as our best cheap phone for a good solid six months, probably even a little bit longer than that. So we decided to pit that against the new Moto G5 Plus to see how Motorola has improved when it comes to speed this year on its budget line. Now, the one thing we need to talk about is this is a highly intensive test. This test is actually designed by us for phones such as the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the iPhone 7, really top of the range phones. We're doing 3D modeling, we're doing really intensive gaming, we're doing high res tracks. We're doing some really difficult things here that Motorola probably won't be able to handle on their budget line of phones. So we decided to pit these two phones together and let's see what Motorola does. So on the left hand side is the Moto G5 Plus and on the right is the Moto G4 Plus. We're starting off with a high res audio track and there we have it, the G5 Plus has already finished and we're on to our first of three games. We're starting off with Asphalt 8 Airborne, we're then gonna move into Fruit Ninja and then we're gonna go on to Nova 3. I'm also gonna load up a level of Nova 3. That's a really difficult game for any of these phones to handle. So let's see how the Motorola's can do with it. The Moto G5 Plus is already onto it though. We are almost half through the test here with the G5 Plus. We've then got a few different apps coming up as well which are actually even higher intensity. We've got some photo editing and stuff. As you can see, our fingers are getting a little bit <laughs> a little bit uncomfortable here waiting for both of these phones to load. The Moto G5 Plus is loading up level one. The G4 Plus isn't that far behind though at the moment. It is still chugging along quite nicely. G5 Plus, there we go, it's finished. And we're moving on to Premiere Pro. We're gonna edit a short video clip here. This is probably gonna take quite a while, even on the high-end phones that we run through these tests, they still struggle to handle this. Uh, the iPhone 7 is actually the best at doing this. It manages to do it very, very quickly, while a lot of the Androids really do struggle. There you have it, you can see even in that little loading bar right there, you can see how the G4 Plus is just behind the Moto G5 Plus at the moment. There we have it. The G5 Plus is finished and we're on to photo editing in Snapseed. We're gonna put a series of different filters onto this photo and see how long that takes. I think there's about eight different filters and different uh, levels that we're gonna be doing onto this. There we have it, lens blurs going right there. And the G4 Plus is now moving on to Snapseed as well. Again, it's not that far behind, but it's still, this all adds up in day-to-day -day usage. There we have it, Snapseed's done on the G5 Plus. Now we are on to the 3D editing tool. Now, all of the phones we run through this test really struggle with this. Again, the iPhone 7 is probably the quickest at being able to handle this, but we really expect the Moto G5 Plus to really struggle with this one. So the 3D modeling tool is just booting up on the G4 Plus, and this is notorious in these tests for taking a long time, even on the high-end phones. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the specs in each of these phones. The G5 Plus comes with the mid-range Snapdragon 625 processor, while the G4 Plus comes with another mid-range, but a little bit older Snapdragon 617 processor. When it comes to RAM, you can get varying amounts in each of these phones. The G5 Plus we had had three gigabyte of RAM, while the G4 Plus had two gigabytes. Another thing to note is that the G5 Plus was running Android 7 software while our G4 Plus was only running Android 6. You can now get the G4 Plus running Android 7 software in some markets though, so that may make it a little bit quicker. If you want us to rerun this test when we get that software onto the G4 Plus, be sure to hit us up in the comments below. See, the 3D modeling tool is still taking quite a long time even though we've spoken about all of the specs here. So that's all of the specs we need to talk to you about. So we're just gonna speed up the rest of the 3D modeling tool because it looks like it's gonna take a little bit longer to load. So the Moto G5 Plus is finished with the 3D modeling tool. So it's onto the camera. We're taking a photo, bam, and then we are moving on to lap two when that has loaded. There we have it, there's the uh, audio app again and there we have Asphalt 8 again. So the aim here is to see if the phones can hold the apps in the background. Fruit Ninja, it's not managed to do and that might be because there's only three gigabyte of RAM in this phone. You can get a four gigabyte version of the Moto G5 Plus. That might be a little bit better at holding the apps running in the background. The G4 Plus though is still struggling on that 3D modeling tool. That's gonna take a little bit longer there it seems. <laughs> uh, so Nova 3, and we're halfway through the second lap on the G5 Plus, we're onto the camera app, and we're actually gonna move, move on to lap two. The video app on the G5 Plus is doing great there. There we go, 3D modeling tools, they're waiting. We're taking a photo with the G5 Plus, and we are finished 
the G5 Plus took 4 minutes and 17 seconds. So the G4 Plus is still really struggling here, so we're just going to speed this up and see how much longer the G4 Plus has to run for. Nova took a really long time to load there, but these next apps that are coming up all stay in the background on the G4 Plus. Again, if the RAM was a bit higher here, you might find the G4 Plus it would actually do better in this test, but on the 2GB version, it struggled. There we have it. The G4 Plus has finished at 5 minutes and 24 seconds. So no massive surprise here. The Moto G5 Plus is faster than the Moto G4 Plus. You're actually saving a solid minute here in our test but it didn't actually perform that well compared to some of the other phones we've run through this test, including the Honor 6X, which did 30 seconds better than the Moto G5 Plus. That's very impressive with the Honor 6X, so if you're looking for a super fast, cheap phone, the Honor 6X might be the way to go. Now, this test is designed for those high-end phones such as the Pixel, the iPhone 7, those really expensive phones, the Moto G5 Plus is going to be able to suit you in your day-to-day -day routine, so don't be disappointed by this test. You can read the full review just down below in the description on techradar.com to find out how we found the Moto G5 Plus. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you again soon.